And the students just love the ability to create and to have then to have something at the end to show and they live on for the next group of students to look at um, and to engage with. It's worth it when when the students you get the reaction that they just feel that they're being creative, they're creating an artifact that will live on beyond the course and something that isn't just a term paper that will go in someone's drawer. That sounds really powerful. And I can imagine for incoming students seeing, hey, here's one of these notes created by one of my previous students. I could have this type of impact for future students. I can imagine this is also especially motivating. Exactly. Um, yeah. Steve, do you have anything to add? Yeah. So um, there is a lot of tension between amount of time that you have to put into the, the creation of these widgets. And I would suggest, as Siobhan was suggesting, that you involve students in that creation process by by making them uh, create H5P widgets and sharing them with their classmates, and then allow you know with their permission, allowing that content to live on uh, past the the particular class session that they're taking. Um, it <clears throat> it bypasses a lot of the con uh, content creation bottlenecks that you would run into if you were trying to do this all yourself, and it also makes them feel like they're active contributors. In the I, I just want to mention one uh, thing you want to watch for if you are asking students to create H5P widgets is that you should specify which types. Um, so if you're looking for something that's highly creative, make sure you say which types of H5P widgets. Don't, don't leave them to their own devices because you'll have a whole bunch of multiple choice widgets and that is not too exciting to see.